Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a general reading for you. Um, so, it's a general read. It, it will, will not resonate with every Taurus that views the video, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. I have shuffled and played over the cards off camera. Um, I was going to pull the cards and then, you know, start, but... Let's shuffle on camera for you. So we'll we'll start. It's general. If it's love, I'll interpret it that way. If it's not, then you know whatever. I hope that all of my tourists are having a really good month, a good year. It's the eighth month of the year. We're closing out the eighth month. Um, it's that month of reflection because it's Virgo. You know. Leo and Virgo, but definitely going into Virgo season, it's that month of reflection. Like you've gone through a cycle. Seven is a cycle, seven months, and now you're in the eighth month or the one month, and uh, now you're trying to figure out what's going on. Like what needs to change, who needs to change, what you need to change, what's going on with you. You've looked at what you've done for seven months, and um, you're trying to. Uh, Look, as I say that at the bottom of the deck, the seven of pentacles. You, seven, it's, it's divinity. It's, it's a cycle. You're looking at this. Like, hey, is this panning out well for me? And it's your energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Is this panning out well for me? Am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? You know? And that's where you are mentally. Um... You're also looking to the past, too. Well, you know, seven months would be the past. But, um, yeah, you just really... You want to return on your investment, too. You've invested in something or someone. And it's, you know... It's the, uh, the question of... Was this the right investment? Bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... Let's get some angel answers in here. So if you got questions out there, here are your answers from the angels. I like Taurus. Um, some of my good friends are Taurus. I'm an Aquarius son. Um, it's, we get each other. We can have tough conversations, truthful conversations, and not be upset with each other. We can have logical conversations. We can have fun together too. <laughs> Lots of fun. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Taurus is just bossy. The women are like, like dainty, you know, kind of, kind of dainty. Yeah. You know. Which I, I, I admire because. People perceive me as dainty, but I'm really not. Like, at, at heart, I'm a tomboy. So. I don't know why I turned these over already, but we'll take it. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Okay, the bottom of the deck for the Butterfly Oracle, we have Be True to You. This popped out off camera when I was shuffling. So, some of you out here are just acting. And you're going along to get along and you're not being true to what you either want or who you are or what you have to offer or um, you're not being true in regards to how you feel about a certain situation um, yeah so let's get into it seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck for the first spread queen of swords some of you definitely dealing with gemini libra aquarius typically this is gemini it could be aquarius or libra the high priestess King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. You're dealing with somebody who's really spiritually inclined. Um, they, they're they exacting the truth from you. They may not be... You may be wanting the truth from them. This Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, could be you, has a secret, or has a secret somebody, or something is a secret here. They're evaluating the situation. Now... Um, in regards to should they leave or should they go. If taking a step away from 
and now they're looking at the situation in regards to what they've invested in is this paying out is this paying off for Taurus um, they may be cutting someone off maybe a Gemini Libra Aquarius a Gemini Libra Aquarius woman could be this a secret here somebody who's spiritually inclined to work in an office bookkeeper or something like that um, Capricorn Virgo Taurus this is my Taurus male though my Taurus male may be looking at a situation in regards to wanting change but not knowing if they should actually initiate change all right so if that didn't resonate with you let's see what we got here bottom of the deck gemini libra aquarius someone coming to you confrontational speaking their truth all they have to offer is is communication is truth or words seven of wands the will of fortune the four of pentacle the four of cups somebody's been working really hard on their own business on their own status trying to maintain status here um someone is warding someone off um my Taurus female if you're with a Gemini Libra Aquarius they may be fighting off uh or you know keeping at bay other suitors something that they, but something that you guys work really hard for this is a payout to um, you may get an increase in business. Make sure you invest your money well here. Don't just put it in the bank. Make sure it's working for you at all times. Um, some of you, you've worked really hard to get where you are. Uh, and, and then if it's love, then some of you have a partner who is keeping at bay. Um potential uh, suitors which is good they're not taking to any offers they also could be kind of a little bored here in the relationship towards so spice it up however or whatever that means to you they're fighting really hard for this connection okay angel answers the bottom of the deck if you believe and then we have reconsider choose a new direction you're ready in abundance yeah I see that here some of you are gonna have some really good business if you have your own business or really good opportunity to for promotion or, or to um, live up to whatever status you're at in regards to your career and or finances finances are highlighted you're going to have an increase there um choose a new direction this stuck out to me because it looks like in this first spread someone is really contemplating and reconsidering um a new direction you know um whatever it is taurus you're ready because abundance is here for you whatever that may be uh, for the Butterfly Oracle, we have heavenly signs, the high priestess, you being connected to spirit. Finances looks really good for you. Self-employment, if you are self-employed, it looks really, really good for you, especially with the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Pentacles. This is helping you maintain or even increase business if you are self-employed. The will is turning in your favor now. Uh, sentimental feelings I think this is what some of you are experiencing in this top uh, spread um, this is what keeps you in a certain situation sent the sentiment the king of pentacles sometimes stays in situations out of obligations out of the sentiment obligation and sentiment you know can go hand in hand um, sentimental feelings aren't quote unquote emotions you want the emotions card that means that it, it's deep connection it's almost aligned with with spiritual sentiment is I 
I know I must or I or I like or I want this to be that way or it's it's almost um conceding or I'm here and settling. I don't know some of you. And it feels that way because at the bottom of the deck we have be true to you and it looks like some of you want to be elsewhere um, in whatever situation. It could be career and finance. It could be in love and romance. I don't know. Um, but you aren't being true to you because you're holding on because of the sentiment. Anyhow, uh, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Go over to the website and take advantage of, to my website and take advantage of the special I have. $20 for a 10 minute recorded reading sent to you. Um, Taurus, understand that uh, I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you're commenting below. Um, I'll see you guys in the next reading. Take care.